and related operations and this is lecture 3 in our previous two lectures we already discussed about turning and related operations and in lecture 2 we discussed about shaping and related operations and in this video we will discuss about drilling and related operations let's first talk about the introduction drilling is a process of producing round holes in a solid material or enlarging existing holes with the use of multi-tooth cutting tools called drills or drill bits various cutting tools called drills or drill bits various cutting tools are available for drilling but the most common is the twist drill drilling is most common single machining operation drilling makes up 25 percent of machining drilling occurs at the end of a tool within the material four actions take place at the drill tip a small hole is formed by the web chips are not cut here in the normal sense chips are formed by the rotating leaves chips are removed from the hole by the screw action of the helical floors the drill is guided by lengths or margins that rub against the walls of the hole there is a picture of drilling machine see here the drill bit chuck feet speed clip forward or reverse switch on trigger and torque selection drill parts of twist drill there is a picture of a twist drill and there is the part shank neck flutes body cutting edge body clearance length there is the end view clearance diameter chisel is angle chisel edge and length now talk about classifications classification based on constructions three types first one solid drills those made of one piece of material such as high speed steel number two tipped solid drills those having a body of one material with cutting leaves made of another material braced or otherwise bonded in place number three composite drills those having cutting portions mechanically held in place then classification based on methods of holding or driving first one straight shank drills those having cylindrical shanks which may be the same or different diameter than the body of the drill the shanks may be made with or without driving flares tank grooves or threads next one taper shank drills those having conical shanks suitable for direct fitting into tapered holes in machine spindles driving sleeves or sockets tapered shanks generally have a driving tank classification based on number of floors two fluid drills the conventional type of twist drill used for originating holes single fluid drills those having only one fluid commonly used for originating holes three fluid drills or core drills drills commonly used for enlarging and finishing drilled cast or punched holes they will not produce original holes and the last one four fluid drills or core drills used interchangeably with three fluid drills they are of similar construction except for the number of floors next classification based on hand of cut first one is right hand cut when viewed from the cutting point the counterclockwise rotation of a drill in order to cut the great majority of drills are made right hand then left hand cut when 
viewed from the cutting point the clockwise rotation of a drill in order to cut.